Hello D Nation and welcome to the Dicast Motorcycle Week series. In today's episode we are going to be taking a look at my top 6 favorite 118 scale scooter replicas and showcase them in this Dicast Bike Week episode. So stay tuned with me on this one and let's get this started. Well, I really love the bike week that takes place annually all over the world where biker community is gathered together as one to showcase their beautiful rides and also to enjoy and appreciate these beautiful pieces of art on two wheels. So as a diecast motorcycle collector, I came up with the concept to kickstart a bike week series for my 118 scale diecast motorcycles where I dedicate an episode to one motorcycle brand and feature my top 6 favorite motorcycle replicas for my collection. However, in today's Bike Week episode, I'm featuring six scooter replicas from various globally known motorcycle brands. So let's go ahead and take a look at today's assorted scooter lineup and get this Diecast Bike Week episode started. And a quick disclaimer before we kick start, I am not sponsored by any of the brands featured in today's video, and I'm doing this solely out of passion for my hobby and my love for motorcycles. And on the same note, None of today's featured scooters are ranked in any particular order based on brand, looks or performance and are my personal favorites for my collection for today's scooter episode. But if you choose to, feel free to rank them and let me know what you think in the comments below. So let's begin today's diecast scooter lineup with the Yamaha XP 500T Max, which is a diecast replica manufactured by Willy. The Yamaha T-Max series of maxi scooters has been manufactured by Yamaha Motor Company for the European market since its debut at July 2000 press events in Naples, Italy and Iwata, Japan, combining motorcycle performance with the convenience and flexibility of commuting of a scooter. When it was introduced, the 500cc T-Max engine was the largest and most powerful ever used in a production scooter. T-Max is the machine that invented the maxi scooter class in 2001. The development team received a 2001 Good Design Award gold prize for the original T-Max. Next up is the Honda Activa 125, which is a diecast replica manufactured by Honda. The Honda Activa is a motor scooter made by Honda Motorcycles and Scooter India. It was launched in India in May 1999. Production in Mexico began in 2004 and it was a 109 to 125 cc scooter. The vehicle has the option of kick and self start. Honda began selling a new version of the Activa in the Indian market on 8th May 2009 with a new 109 cc engine. Honda said the fuel economy was improved by 15%. In April 2014, Honda began an upgrade model of the Activa with a 125 cc engine and rebranded the model as Activa 125. Currently, both Activa I and Activa 125 are sold in India along with the traditional Honda Activa. What we're looking at now is the Honda Silverwing, which is a diecast replica manufactured by Willy. The Honda Silverwing is a 582 cc maxi scooter designed and manufactured by Honda Motor Company Limited. Introduced in 2001, it had a continuously variable transmission. Anti-lock brakes are optional, and the name Silverwing was previously used for an earlier Honda motorcycle series including the GL500 and the GL650. So let's go ahead and take a look at this awesome Honda Silverwing replica. Up next is the Yamaha Majesty YP 250 DX, which is a diecast replica manufactured by Willy. Yamaha YP Majesty is a scooter made by Yamaha beginning in 2003. 
The Majesty is a maxi scooter with a single cylinder, counterbalance 400cc DOHC fuel injection engine with a continuously variable transmission and a casting aluminium frame. The Majesty line includes a 150, 250 and 400cc displacement single cylinder engine versions available in Europe and Asia. In the US, only the 400cc model was sold from 2004 to 2014. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful Yamaha scooter replica. Up next is the Piaggio Vespa GTS 125 which is a die-cast replica manufactured by Maisto. The Vespa GTS range is a scooter currently manufactured by Piaggio under the Vespa brand. GTS stands for Gran Turismo Sport, while the 250IE is the displacement and electronic fuel injection. The increased engine capacity combined with reduced emissions gives a top speed of 118 km per hour. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this Vespa die-cast replica. And finally, we have the Piaggio Vespa LX125, which is a die-cast replica manufactured by Maisto. The Vespa LX is a scooter that was made by Piaggio from 2006 until 2014. The LX150 uses the same frame as the LX50, but features a 150cc engine capable of a listed maximum speed of 95 km per hour. The LX150, like all modern Vespa scooters, features a four-stroke single overhead camshaft and steel frame construction. Released in 2006, the LX is the Roman numeral for 60, marking the 60th anniversary of the first Vespa scooter in 1946. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this amazing Vespa scooter replica. And with that out of the way, now let's place these die-cast beauties on the D-Nation dyno and check out their wheel spin and their functionality. And in case you're interested, kindly find further features and specifications regarding these amazing die-cast scooter replicas in the description below. And stay tuned for some fun facts on scooters coming up.
everything seems to be spot on and up to my expectations with these amazing die cast scooter replicas. And so with that being said, let's place these die cast models on the D Nation turntable and take a look at these beauties in a 360 degree view. And here are a few fun facts. A scooter or motor scooter is a type of motorcycle with a step through frame and a platform for the rider's feet. Elements of scooter design were present in some of the earliest motorcycles as scooters have been made since at least 1914. Scooter development continued in Europe and the United States between the World Wars and the global popularity of motor scooters dates from the post-World War II introductions of the Vespa and Lambretta models in Italy. These scooters were intended to provide economical personal transportation and the original layouts is still widely used in this application. Maxi scooters with larger engines from 250 to 850 cc have been developed for western markets. Scooters are popular for personal transportation partly due to being more affordable, easier to operate and more convenient to park and store than a car. Licensing requirements for scooters are easier and cheaper than for cars in most parts of the world and insurances is usually cheaper as well. The term motor scooter is sometimes used to avoid confusion with kick scooters but can then be confused with motorized scooters which is another distinct kind of scooter. And for further information on scooters kindly check the link in the description below. And if you want to get yourself or your loved ones any one of these 118 scale diecast scooter replicas, I dropped the best buy links in the description below. So go check it out and get yourself one if you're interested and also please do let me know in the comments below as to which one of these amazing diecast scooter replicas are your favorite. And kindly continue to support D Nation by liking and sharing our videos and please do check out the rest of the 118 scale diecast motorcycle episodes and the Diecast Bike Week episodes in the playlist below. And this brings us to the end of this amazing Scooter Diecast Motorcycle Week episode and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up and share it and don't forget to smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. And also click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. And if you care to share your views and thoughts on this episode, please do drop your comments below and stay tuned for all new episodes coming up. Well, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.